Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome to Text Talk. In this video, we are gonna see how to flash an TP-Link Archer C9 to DDWRT. Okay, so the version that we are gonna use today is uh, version one, Rev one, and we will download a few firmwares from DDWRT.com, and then we'll flash it to DDWRT. So what this will do is like you know basically it will give your router features like open vpn wireshark that kind of stuff so what is required there are a couple of firmwares required here the first firmware that we will be using is factory 2 ddwrt firmware the next firmware would be a web upgrade or a web flash firmware from ddwrt and then we would be using two firmwares from tp link one is an internal test tp link and finally if you are using version 2018 or a newer firmware then we would use older tp-link firmware this way you can avoid uh, the error 5533 we'll talk about it later as well now for the first two firmwares the factory to ddwrt firmware and the ddwrt web upgrade you can just download them from uh, dd-wrt.com the second one and the third one these two firmwares i'll highlight a blog below from where you can download both these firmwares so the links all the links will be in description okay now so let me log in okay let's get started so now basically i'll go to ddwrt.com and then i'll click router database and then i'll type tp-link you don't need to do this because I'll directly give you the link of this Archer C9. As you can see here, there are many versions. I'll go to version one, which is mine here. And you can see there are two firmwares. The first one factory to DDWRT and the second one, the web upgrade or the web flash firmwares. We'll download both of them. Just click them and they will get downloaded. I have already downloaded them here. You can see factory to DDWRT and the web flash versions. Okay now before proceeding i'll just disable my wi-fi so that i it does not clash with my existing subnet i'll go to wi-fi adapter click disable and now i'll connect my usb c hub which is in turn connected to the router through a lan cable because my laptop does not have a direct ethernet jack so it's connecting okay now it's connected and now through the browser the address for tp link router is tp link wi-fi.net the last one that you can see here i'll click there and because it is already factory reset by me so the username password will be admin and admin and then i'll click login as you can see the internet is disabled so that's why it's showing error there but we'll go to advanced and now when we go to advanced we'll go scroll down to system tools and now from sister tools i'll go to firmware upgrade when i click there if you can see the firmware version you can see it is 3.17.1 build 2018 i just want you to remember this for any build 2018 or later there is some issue that will happen i'll show you now i'll click browse and then we will install the first firmware factory to ddwrt I click open and then i'll click upgrade it's asking me for confirmation okay and now you can see it fills with error code 5533 i'll go back again 1800 i'll go back i'll just pause here for a second and i'll tell you why this error happens so this is observed in all tp link firmwares that are after 2018 and like the latest all the latest firmwares especially for uh, the version one why this happens because uh, based upon some regulation or policy tp link blocks all third party content so you cannot upgrade it to ddwrt you can't upgrade it to open wrt or led so what is the next best option the second best option is like you know you can downgrade your version from 2018 to something earlier so can you do that can you do a do direct downgrade from 
2018 to 2016 or 2017 unfortunately that is also not possible tp link blocks that downgrade as well so how do you solve it then the third best approach is you use um in interim or a uh, middleware firmware something that is used by tp link themselves internally in their environment in their environment uh, to you know test patches upgrades that kind of stuff so basically what you do in this process is you take your current firmware version which is version 2018 and then what you do is you replace it with something called as a confidential or a test only or an interim build version which is actually a working router firmware version but you are not supposed to use it in production environments and then with this test uh, firmware what you can do is you can downgrade to 2016 you can upgrade to later versions you can release new patches this is what tp link does and this is what we have to do uh, so like what i'll do is i'll upgrade downgrade it in our case to an older version like 2016 the one in the link is an european version but that's fine it won't make any difference so i'll go back to the screen tp link wi-fi if you can see i have changed the uh, subnet to 100.1 anyway i'll go back here uh, I'll change, uh, I'll select that test file, the test or the interim build that I was talking about. I'll select that, I'll click open. And then I'll click upgrade. I'll click OK, accept it. And now you can see it will start upgrading because this is like an internal TP link build. So it will upgrade, uh, sorry, downgrade in a sense. I'll fast forward it so that you don't have to wait. Again, like this takes a lot of time. I have fast, fast forwarded it to four times, but still you can see it's a little bit of time lag. Anyhow, now because we have flashed it to an internal build, so again, the link would be tp-link wifi.net, the standard tp-link router link. And then uh, again, the uh, username and password would be reset to admin admin, which will be in this case probably admin admin and i click login and yeah we can log in again because this is the first time it will ask you for uh, it will recommend you to change your username and password which we will do now and remember this password because this password will be actually required later i'll show you where i'll confirm it and now we go to the quick setup screen but we don't need to do do this because we are we'll directly go to advanced and now in advanced you can i'll again go back to system tools if you can see the look and feel is exactly same as other tp link builds but this is just an internal firmware so i'll go back to uh, go to system tools firmware upgrade and if you can see in the background you can see actually the word confidential only for tests so this is like a test build and i'll click browse and now i will downgrade it to a 2016 firmware version which you can see 2016 i'll click open and then i'll click upgrade and i'll click yes and now it should flash to a downgraded version of tp link official software so even though it says firmware is upgrading it is actually down a uh, downgrading anyway let's uh, let it complete Take a couple of minutes again for me it took a lot of time but i have fast forwarded it so for you it would be like a couple of seconds i believe okay now we are back to the home screen and now here you have to enter the password that you had set for the interim build the password will be remembered i entered admin admin it gave me wrong so i'll re-enter the password that i had put on the interim build and now we are in the uh, downgraded version of firmware so i'll go to advance i'll go to system tools i'll go to then i'll go to obviously firmware upgrade And now you can see the firmware version. Earlier it was 3.17 point something. Now, now it is 4.1.0 build 2016 0517. 
So now this versions of TP-Link you can easily upgrade to DDWRT. If you have open WRT available, you can upgrade to them. So now we, and that's what we'll do now. So I'll click browse. I'll go to the initial link that I downloaded factory to DDWRT open and then I'll click upgrade. Click yes and now it should not give me any error and it should upgrade again. I'll just once it starts, I'll just forward it. I'll fast forward all this. You don't have to wait. Usually it would take a lot of time, maybe around five to 10 minutes for sure. Because we don't have any network available. So this is from your local PC. Still, it would take time to flash. And then it will reboot. By the way, just want to tell you something. Once it reboots, usually dd-wrt the ip or the subnet would be 192.168.1.1 .1. so we'll check that as soon as it flashes tp link wifi.net the link will not work we'll try 192.168.1.1 .1. so now it has flashed as i told you it will not work so probably we'll go to our adapter settings i'll click the status and then i'll click details under connection and now you can see the ip4 default gateway that's the sub uh, that's the ip i got and this is the default gateway 1.1 .1. you can see here this one this is what i was studying moments ago and i'll close this i'll go back there and enter this ip close this again enter 192 1.1 and bam now you are on the ddwrt official router uh, screen you do the first time configuration admin and your password a good password is sufficient you don't need to have it like really strong or something then i'll click change password and yes now we are connected okay so like these are the ips and all i'll go to administration screen and it will ask me the new username and the password Again, you can see the IP is 192.168.1.1. I'll click sign in. And now you can see like, you know, all settings are there, the typical. I'll create another video which where I'll talk to you more about DDWRT and what are the things, what are various configurations. Now we'll go to status and you can check. Like, you know, the firmware version is there, the router model is there, all that kind of cool stuff, the memory, all details are there. Let's go to firmware upgrade because we have one final upgrade remaining you remember that w flash this is where that we upgraded now i click choose file and then i'll go to that w uh, web flash or the uh, uh, web upgrade the web flash and then i'll click open and then i'll click upgrade typically it is recommend that before you do this you once restart the router i haven't done it but you can do it again this process takes a lot of time for me, it took more than seven or eight minutes, I believe. But I, again, I have fast forwarded them. Uh, it flashed a few times. There was a black screen for some time. And then I finally came to this screen. Uh, and then like, you know, when I clicked the link again, I got this message, upgrade successful. And slowly it started rebooting. Again, I am forwarding a lot of stuff here. But these are the basically the messages that you get. And now, Finally, we are on DDWRT and our router uh, Archer C9 is completely flashed. I'll go to status. I'll show you things. This is the router name and this is like our router model TP Link Archer C9 and the DDWRT build version 3 at the time of filming. This is the latest build. And you can see this like, you know, because it was a version 1. So the chip is Broadcom and then the memory and all those details. Before concluding this video, one thing I'll show is i'll go to services and then i'll go to vpn is vpn ah, okay vpn and then here like you know there are two types of vpn that you can set up basically you can set up a pptp or an open uh, vpn server uh, when we click open vpn server is like you know basically we can make our router a vpn router and then from outside external world we can access any file internally in our pc but I'll disable that. And the one thing that is important here is the VPN client version. That's why we did the flash 
at the first place what this basically enables you to do is like you know you can use nord vpn express vpn they give their server name you can enter that server name here the ips all the details this would be available on their websites and then like you know they would give you a username and password you can click enable and enter that username and password the cert the public cert cs and all those things as of now i'll disable it I'll disable i'll disable it and i'll cancel the changes because i don't have any vpn connection now but this is how and um, why we do the ddwrt flash okay thank you for watching bye bye